Hey guys, Davey here from phonebluff.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to enable the Tegra optimizations on a non-Tegra device like the Samsung Galaxy S3 for the game Dead Trigger. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up before I actually do the hack so that way you guys can see what the game looks like without the uh, Tegra optimizations and obviously I'm going to compare it once we do the hack to see what the differences are. Now keep in mind you do have to have root access in order to be able to do this so if you don't have that, do that first. I'm going to go ahead and load up a quick quest hit accept and I'm uh, just going to do a quick walk through through the map so you guys can get a good feel for what it looks like without the Tegra optimizations. There you go so first thing you'll notice is I have it on high quality so keep that in mind if you're just on low it'll look different uh, I went into settings and made it high quality I have smoke coming out of these little vents um, and that vent over here on the floor we don't see anything but little like doors of fences here's my first zombie I'll go ahead and Shoot these guys. So pay attention to how they look as they fall. Now we do actually do have a water effect, which uh, you know I previously thought it was a Tegra only optimization, but we have water falling right over here. I can walk through it and I get that little water effect. So let's try that again. So you can see it looks like there's water dripping onto the screen. So pretty cool. Alright, that should be a good enough little demo of, you know, what it looks like without the Tegra optimization. So, I'm going to close out of the application. Now, the first thing you're going to need to actually do this hack is a root explorer. So, I'm using ES File Explorer right over here because it's free and it gives me the permissions or the access that I need. So, you're going to hit Menu and then go to Settings. And basically, what you want to do is make sure the Up to Root uh, checkbox is checked. Make sure the Root Explorer is checked and then also the mount file system box is checked. Once those three things are checked, you get back out of here and you can see I'm on my SD card. I'm just gonna hit up and uh, go to the root directory. So when there's a slash and nothing after it, it means you're at the root directory. From here, you're gonna hit the data folder. It's gonna look like that, data. And then you're gonna hit data once again. So data slash data. And then we're gonna look for the Mad Trigger uh, Games folder. So, or Mad Finger Games. Uh, folder, so I'm just gonna scroll down. I think I passed it. There you go, Mad Finger Games Dead Trigger. So I'm gonna tap on that guy. All right, so there's four files that you can choose from. The one we're looking for is the second one that says com.madfingergames.deadtrigger.xml. So I'm gonna tap on that guy and open it. It gives me uh, an option to choose what I want to open it with. I'm gonna choose ES Note Editor because that's the one that comes with the file manager, and also I know that it works. And uh, you're taken to this screen. Basically, this is where you're gonna be able to edit the options for the graphics. So the first thing we're gonna look for is uh, op Unity Graphics Quality. So right here at the bottom you can see it says Unity Graphics Quality. It's gonna scroll that up a little and it says the value is the one. So I'm gonna tap on that and delete the one and replace it with a two. So you can see now the Unity Graphics Quality, the value is set to two. I'm gonna tap back to bring my keyboard down. And the next thing we're gonna look for is the graphics options. So I'm gonna scroll down and uh, you can see my keyboard came up which is kind of annoying but can't really help that. So here you go, it says options, graphic, detail. Value is set to two. So this one, we just add one again, and we're gonna set it to three. So I'm gonna delete the two, put in a three, double check my work to make sure that it looks just like that within the quotations. And then uh, I'm gonna hit back, hit menu, and then save. So save, save successfully. I'm gonna tap back to go back into here. And now what you're gonna wanna do is press and hold on that file that we just edited, Scroll down to where it says properties and then hit the change button. I'm gonna tap change and take off all the check boxes for write. So that way, you know, when you open it up, it doesn't rewrite over it and uh, restore the default settings. I'm gonna hit OK and then OK once again. Now you can see a file has been added. It's called madfingergames.deadtrigger.xml.bak. I'm gonna move this guy out of here because that's gonna, again, give me troubles down the line. So I'm just gonna move it to my SD card. I'm gonna hit OK and you can see it's out of there. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and exit out and open up the game so we can see if it worked. And of course, I'm gonna do a walkthrough to see the differences that the Tegra optimizations actually make. All right, so before I actually go into the map, I'm gonna go into the settings and show you that the graphic details, details are actually now set to ultra high. Before, it was only to high and that was the highest it could go. I either had low, medium, or high. Now it's ultra high. If I press this plus sign though, it'll revert down to low medium and high and I won't be able to access ultra high again. So make sure you don't do that. I'm just gonna hit X out of it and we're gonna go into the quest. 
and uh, actually look at the differences that we made. All right, so we have the map loaded up. So you can see a little bit of lag in the beginning, but we have the same smoke coming out of this little vent, but now we have this water. So before, you remember, we just had the little door, fence doors. We still have those, but now we have water. We could actually shoot the water and get splashes like that. And uh, it just looks a lot better. I mean, it's a small little optimization, but it makes the gaming experience a little bit better. And uh, you're gonna get more of that ragdoll effect that they talk about when you are killing off these zombies. Of course, we still have that water effect over here. I mean, we had it before, so of course we're still gonna have it. And uh, I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, you guys could see that the graphics are a little bit enhanced. I mean, it's not a night and day difference. Um, it's just a few optimizations that you get with the Tegra processors usually. And now with this hack, you can get it you know, with just about any phone that gets supported. So anyway, that's it for me and this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe. And uh, if you wanna look at the XDA thread that, you know, the guy who actually figured it out, I put the link in the description box, so check that out. And uh, big thanks to him. All right, thank you for watching.